What's up everybody? It's Isaac. I want to welcome you back to a, yet again another video in our series to touch more on something that was spoken about last week and that is who is truly creating the music that we make? And I say that question and it is a very interesting question. You say, Isaac, well, I make the music that I make. Well, who, who else could be making it? I would like to put into the mix of our ideas the perspective of if you've accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior and you've been living in the Spirit, you've been living in a way where God can move and speak and do things through you, if we start creating something with the intention to give God glory and we're walking in line with what God needs us to do, I believe God will help us create things that we weren't capable of creating on our own. We should keep in mind that our intention within the creative process should also be very much so in one with what the Holy Spirit has put on your heart. Whether that be a specific topic on lyrics, whether that be a specific image or a specific video, um, whatever you might be creating, I believe God can do even bigger things than we be able to do on our own because of the Holy Spirit's power being able to work and move through us with such ease because he lives inside of us. I don't hear this as a topic we speak about majority of the time where what has the Holy Spirit done through you recently? But we, sh we should ask that question. We should ask, what has God been doing through you recently? Is when we gather together as believers and you want to share the amazing things he's been doing, you can say, this is what God has done through me. And the amazing thing about that is as we share what God's been doing, that builds up faith to everybody else who gets to hear about the amazing thing God's doing in your life. Because other than the Bible, how else are we supposed to hear about what God is doing? From people around us, we're supposed to hear what's going on. So if we meet in a large group, Make sure that you share amongst each other what good things have been happening. When somebody asks you, hey, what's going on? What's new? What is the first thing you jump to? Is it, oh, God's been doing this, 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 this through me? Or is it, oh, you know, I've just been busy. i just been working hard, uh, blah, blah, blah. Not giving credit to the person who has given you a reason to be busy, a reason to do projects, a reason to do things. So I'll encourage you guys, as we create, as we do different things, keep in mind, we need to share with each other not only our accomplishments that God has worked through us, but the other things that you've been hearing around so we can build each other up with our faiths, where we can be one as a community moving forward in one body, one mind, one spirit. So God can get all the glory through everything that we do. As of right now, there's plenty of music that we can listen to on the internet, on the radio, that evokes different types of emotions and different types of meanings within lyrical content, as well as emotions that are portrayed through the sound. When we listen to the music that's in the world, there, there is undoubtedly a difference in lyrical content. And what is being said and portrayed through words or through sound. And when we create music, anything that we create that is separated from what God has put on your heart or what truth really is or what wisdom really is, if we don't match up with the truth that's in the word and with the truth that Jesus has shared with us, the content that we have within our artistry should also reflect the truth that's in the word as well. I really believe that spirit-led art really builds faith within other people. I know for myself, when I see somebody glorifying God or being proud to share the gospel, being proud of the fact that they're born again, that builds up something in me where it says, you know what? Yeah. Yes, I believe, I, I agree with that. I'm going to live my life that way. And for us to continue to go forward, we need to encourage each other. And that is through our art, that is through our projects, that's through what we're doing. I also see that spirit-led art will challenge beliefs that could have been held onto 
for years and years and years because as we well know, it has been a long period of time that we've been given the knowledge in the Bible and all the words and all the translations. There's been a lot of things that have been manipulated and changed. And the things that do get manipulated and changed, God will bring them to light. He will bring them to truth. He will bring things into light so that those who listen to him can share with others, this is what God's put on my heart. Let me share with you. And these things that we share, those things should challenge us. They should require us to examine ourselves. Because if we're going to be on platforms, if we're going to be preaching the good news, like I said last week, we, we have to be in line with the word. We have to be in line with what God wants us to preach. And there's one gospel every day, all day, and that is God sent his son to die for our sins so that we can be in unity and have this wall lifted where if you truly want to experience the presence of God and you ask for forgiveness and you die to your old life and you're resurrected again and new life is breathed into you and through all of that you experience God's love, you experience God's presence. And then for those of us who create, those of us who organize, those for us who lead, we have specific things we need to do for the kingdom. But if we use our opinions and we use our own thought process to get things done and never ask God for guidance, for his true guidance to be led in the spirit in everything we do, there's a very good chance that we could taint the truth in minuscule ways, but those minuscule ways are the things that keep other people from getting to know God. Because we are the representatives of Christ. Those who think Jesus is a joke, well, that's because many representatives have lived a joke of a life. And for us to bring truth, for us to bring light into our reality, into our dark, dark world we have today, we need to take that role very seriously. And that's for every single one of us. I want to caution all of us who are working on projects where in the future there's a possibility of you being on a spotlight. Be careful that as we grow, as you grow, you don't allow your own desires to take over what God has placed in you. Because as much as we may think we are strong, we can very easily be deceived. That's why it's so important to have a community of believers around you who walk in faith, walk in line with God. So when you get together, they can call out those things and stay, stay in the right way. So I want to wrap up with this question. Where are we placing value in music today? What have we deemed valuable to put into our ears and to put into our minds. Because as we continue to learn more and we continue to get smarter and wiser as to how to live this life, how to glorify God each and every single day, the value that we place on different things will change. And in the value that we have on things, people will see what you value. And for us to stay true and authentic, and for us to really be able to hydrate people with the gospel, we need to stay authentic and we need to make sure that our value lines up with the value God has lined up for us as well. I want to thank you so much for giving me some of your time and listening to what God has put on my heart in regards to our value and what we're doing and who is doing what we're really doing. And I really hope that we continue to ask questions and we never, ever be satisfied with one person's answer. If you're not happy with something, let's let's do the research. Let's see if if the things that we've been taught are really true. And if they're not, then we need to change them so that everybody else can find the truth and not also be deceived. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe to Gospel Hydration so you can find more and more of what is happening over the coming months. If you are an artist or musician or anything within the artistic sphere, go ahead and contact Gospel Hydration if you have any questions or ideas that you'd like to share as to what God's put on your heart and any questions or thoughts you might have received as you've heard what I've been saying. Please make sure you comment and like so we can know what else we can share with you over the coming months. Thank you so much. Once again, my name's Isaac Whedon. You can find more about what I'm doing in the United States at IsaacWhedon.com. 
or I am Isaac Whedon on Instagram. You can find more about what I'm doing on a daily basis. And I pray and pray and pray that we can keep growing so that we can give God glory.